Hi, I'm Camille, and today I'm going to be ranking Fragonard's Flowers of the Perfumer line. This is four different perfumes that um, have names based on places in France. So, in fourth place is Belle de Grasse. Grasse is a city in southern France where Fragonard has one of their factories. So if you've been on a Fragonard tour, you may have been in Grasse. The top notes are bergamot and violet. The middle notes are mimosa and orange blossom. And the base notes are heliotrope and musk. So I definitely get the violet coming through quite strong on this one. That's, that's the main note that I get. As it dries down, I think I get a little bit more of the musk. Um, and it just, it didn't wow me in any way, so that's why it's in last place. There's nothing offensive about it, especially if you like violet, then you might enjoy this fragrance. The drawing on the bottle is the mimosa. It looks kind of like immortel or something like that. Just little orange yellowy flowers. And all the boxes have a map of the location. So here you can see where Grasse is near the Mediterranean Sea. In third place, I have put Belle de Paris. Uh, as you can see on the bottle for Belle de Paris, there is uh, an iris, so that gives you a hint that this is an iris perfume. Um, I like the way that it smells. It has um, mandarin, neroli, pear, iris, violet, musk, and cedar. The problem that I had with the Belle de Paris and why it's not ranked higher is the scent after about 10 minutes when I put it on, I can't smell it at all anymore. So I really liked it, but it is very light and on me it just completely disappears. So no real reason for me to wear it um, if I can't smell it. Something in the top note um, also comes across as a little bit bitter to me, but that dries down and you don't smell it. So really it's just um, iris, violet, and then the musk, mostly from the heart note, base note, that uh, is left. But like I said, on me, nothing. It smells like nothing. I might as well just spray water on my wrists. But I like the bottle. The iris is pretty. There's the map of Paris on the back of the box. In second place, I have put Beau de Provence. As you can see on the bottle for Beau de Provence is uh, figs. The notes in Beau de Provence are fig, bergamot, grapefruit, mint, basil, ylang ylang, cedar, patchouli, and sandalwood. So this one is a little bit more of a wintry, heavier fragrance than the others which are a little bit lighter and more summery. The, yeah, so the cedar and the sandalwood is the dominant thing that comes through for me in this. I guess the fig, bergamot, and grapefruit brighten it a little bit, but overall it's, a, it's more masculine, it's more wintry, it's a heavier fragrance than the other ones. The map of Provence on the back. And in first place, my favorite of these flowers of the perfumer is Belle d'Arles, so Belle of Arles. Um, the notes are bergamot, neroli, peach, orange blossom, absolute, and amber. The impression I got before looking up what was in it was that it was citrus and ginger. Even though there's no ginger in it, Definitely you can smell the orange blossom absolute. 
and I guess the amber is what maybe makes that to me a, a gingery scent. I'm not going to say it's a wintry scent, um, but it is definitely a stronger perfume than um, Belle de Perry or Belle de Grasse. It's a deeper, more powerful fragrance with the Orange Blossom Absolute in there. So if you don't like orange blossom or white floral kind of fragrances, then this might not be the right thing for you. But it definitely is not like a sweet, sweet kind of orange blossom because the other, the amber and maybe the peach, some of the other things that are in there make it a spicier, it's not really spicy, but it's a spicier orange blossom, if that's possible. So that's the one that I like the best. And there's the map on the back. There are my rankings of the Fragonard uh, flowers of the perfumer. Um, let me know if you've tried any of them and which ones you like the best. And if uh, Belle de Perry uh, has a lingering fragrance on you. It's just really interesting how fragrances, perfumes react so differently with different people. So uh, I hope maybe I've helped you make a decision if you want to buy one of these. And I really love Fragonard's line. I love their artwork. I think I've said that before. So um, next time. Bye.